Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of doing like a stitch in leather. This time I picked a rectangle that's 0 0.05 wide and 0 0.2 long. So if we want them separated evenly, we're going to change our nudge. Well, we don't have to change that because we're going to rotate them equally. But if you remember from the first video, we went to Windows, Dockers, and to Properties and picked this right here, and we get almost 32 inches. 32 inches is close enough. So we're going to select both these. So if we bring out a calculator, 32 inches divided by 0.4 is 80 exactly. So we want to blend 80 of them, but always remember that you already have two. So we want to change our blend to 78. And here's the real reason I made this video is because right here, if you blend this along full path like the round object, these other ones are going to take the turn kind of funny. So you need to do them both at the same time, blend along full path and rotate all objects. And then you get that effect. Pretty cool, that might even be better as a look. Uh, once again, test your cut. Let's select all this, go to object, break the objects apart. Let's zoom in here real close, grab our hairline and delete it. And now you have those little stitch patterns. But I can't emphasize Test, 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 and see which one you like better. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.